going on everyone, Mar here with AutoDS and in today's video, we're throwing it back to the bare basics. Today we're going to be talking about what Shopify is, how it works, and how us as dropshippers can use it to our advantage. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you've been trying to figure out what platform it is that you want to start dropshipping on and Shopify is one of those that you've been considering, then make sure you check out this video because in it, we're going to be talking about absolutely everything that you need to know about Shopify. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, what is Shopify and how does dropshipping work through Shopify? Well, in simple terms, Shopify is pretty much just a place where you can go and create your own website to sell your own products or services. It's very simple, very easy to use, and very straight to the point. Shopify is the number one platform for entrepreneurs and e-commerce business owners. This is the most popular place, period, to set up shop and create your own website to start selling your products. This is also one of the best ways that you can start growing your own brand, simply because you can customize everything from all of the different images to all of the colors, so that way it can match your own brand colors and your branding. Now, how does dropshipping work through Shopify? Well, to understand that, the first thing you need to understand is how dropshipping works in general. And simply put, dropshipping is a fulfillment business model where you don't touch absolutely any inventory. The entire thing is done online and you really don't have to worry about much except making sure that your customer's happy and all of the order details are accurate. So this is what happens. Somebody's gonna come to your Shopify website, which let's say it's www.mysneakerstore.com and somebody's gonna buy a pair of shoes for $150. Now, through Shopify, you're gonna receive that order. But instead of you going to your warehouse, packing up that order and shipping it out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sign on to your supplier's website and place the order for those same pairs of shoes, but instead of shipping it to yourself, you're gonna have it shipped directly to your customer. And your supplier's gonna charge you maybe about $50 for those shoes, meaning the remaining $100 are your profit. Now, where does Shopify play into this whole thing? Well, Shopify is the website that your customer's getting onto to place the order through you. So that way you can get the sale for that order and then you reroute it to your supplier. So how do we get started? Well, honestly, nowadays getting started on Shopify is easier than it's ever been. Easy peasy. One of the biggest things that people have had issues with has been getting started and creating their own Shopify store. The reason behind this is because not everybody's too tech savvy or some people can't really match different colors to make everything look coherent for, let's say, your branding. And I completely understand that. I'm one of those people. I really am not very good at designing. I'm matching colors has never been my thing and it's just, it's not in me, which is unfortunate because that's something that I really do like. But with AI and brand new tools that come out each and every week or each and every month, there's always ways to be able to make these things a lot easier. And AutoDS now offers pre-built Shopify stores through AI for completely free. All you need to do is be signed up with AutoDS. And for this, you can get started for just $1 for the next two weeks if you haven't signed up already. So you could take advantage of the trial period for the next two weeks to be able to create your store and get your entire store started. Now on top of that, when you do create your store, not only do you get a pre-built Shopify store, but it's also loaded with best selling products. And on top of that, through Shopify, you get your first month for $1. Now that is the current promotion running on Shopify right now. So if you do sign up, you get your first month for $1, but that can change and it has changed in the past. So if at the time that you're watching this video, it's a little bit different, then you know why. Now getting started with our brand new pre-built Shopify store is super easy. Once you sign up with AutoDS and you sign on, the first thing you're gonna do is simply go up here and you're gonna see add store. If you're already signed up, then you're gonna see your store name. Just click on it and then click on add store down here. Then from here, you're gonna choose Shopify store build with AI. Now we're gonna choose the middle option. Go ahead and click on continue. And from here, we're gonna choose a niche. Now this is gonna be very dependent on you. So this is something that you're gonna to have to think about a little bit, but my suggestion to you is always go with a niche that you like, something that you're interested in because that's gonna make it a lot easier for you to do product research. Now, once we choose our niche, in this case, what I'm gonna do is go with electronics and gadgets because that's what I like. Let's go ahead and click on next and AI is gonna build our store for us. From here, as you saw, that was very quick. Let's go ahead and take our email, copy it over, log into Shopify, get our password as well. And that's pretty much it. We're good to go. Now from here, the next thing you gotta do is simply just choose a plan, but we can take care of that a little bit later. Right now, what I wanna do is show you the store so you can see what you can expect. So here we have Cloud Store. Now Cloud Store has 
everything already ready for us to pretty much just start adding more and more products. As you can see, it already has two different banners that are pretty well made. They go well with the store, with the niche. You have some winning products that are already included and you have some reviews. Now in the footer, you have all of the different pages that you're gonna need for your store, such as your different policies, your contact us, your frequently asked questions, and a few extras. So as you can see, this is a very easy and efficient way to get started, it's super fast. Now, the process I showed you is very streamlined and very straight to the point, but you do also have the option to do all of this manually. So that way you can create and upload your logo, you can go ahead and create all of your different pages, choose the branding colors, and make sure everything is coherent with your brand. Everything goes together with your brand. Now, some people might choose to go this way, and if that's the case, then by all means, but just remember, there's gonna be a few things that you need to remember to do. There's gonna be a few things you're gonna to have to keep in mind so that you don't forget. And the first one is gonna be simply to name your Shopify store. You need to have a name for your Shopify store. And when you're coming up with that name, try to have something that's relevant to your niche. Another thing that's very important, whether or not you use a pre-built store is gonna to be to connect the domain. So when you're creating your store, one thing that really does add a lot of value and really some proof that you're legit to help build trust in your customer is to have your own domain. So www.mystore.com instead of mystore.shopify.com or anything else random like that. Your domain is gonna be probably one of the first things that your customers see when they're clicking on an ad or when they're simply going to your page directly. So it's important to have a domain that's relevant to your store. If you can, your store's name, make that your domain as well. So let's say your store name is Electronic Powerhouse. You can go ahead and go with www.electronicpowerhouse.com. Another thing that you wanna make sure that you do is create a logo that's also relevant with your store and with your brand name and your domain name. So when you're creating your logo, this is probably gonna be one of the harder things to do for some people that don't know how to design. But don't worry because AI can help us with this as well. So you have a few different options for creating your logo. For one, you can go to somewhere like Etsy and purchase a pre-made file, or you can go on Fiverr and hire somebody to design your logo for you. But besides that, you can go on a website that uses AI to create images like Canva or Kittle to have that service create your logo for you. Honestly, that's the easiest way to go about it and the quickest as well. Another thing that's very important to understand when it comes to dropshipping and Shopify is implementing automation and how that benefits you in helping you scale your business. So first off, what exactly is automation? Automation is gonna be the use of an equipment or a software to get tasks done. So what we're gonna be doing is using AutoDS to automate our dropshipping store or to get tasks done on our dropshipping store. Some of the different tasks that AutoDS can take care of for us is gonna be the importing of products, fulfilling orders, keeping track of supplier stock and supplier prices, making sure that they don't fluctuate too much and make us lose money and a lot more. Now, in order to do this, what you're gonna to need to do is be signed up to AutoDS and if you created your Shopify store manually, then just go to the Shopify app store and go ahead and look for AutoDS. Through here, you're gonna be able to install it. In my case, it says open because it's already installed. But if you went through the AutoDS AI pre-built stores, then it's already installed for you. Now, after this, what you need to do is log into your actual AutoDS account. Once you're on here, you're gonna be able to import products from the marketplace, the handpicked products section, and the trending product section. What's the difference? Well, the marketplace is gonna include different suppliers such as AutoDS's private suppliers, which are vetted suppliers for proven quality and fast shipping. But besides that, you also have access to suppliers from AliExpress and Amazon. Now, the handpicked product section, that's gonna be products that are handpicked by expert dropshippers that have a history of trending or are currently trending. And then the trending product section, these are all products that have the possibility to be trending based on current sales data. This is all done through AI though. So the trending product section is a collection of products that AI has collected based on a number of factors. Now, once you're on any one of these different pages, let's say you wanna import this portable LED selfie light, all you have to do is click on import draft, choose your store. In this case, we're gonna choose our Shopify store and then click on import. And that's it. From there, it's gonna go ahead and import to our draft section where we can click to edit any of the details that we need. We can edit the titles, we can edit the description through here, which you can also edit the description using AI, the variations and the images. Now let's say we find a different product on Amazon or AliExpress that we wanna to import to our store. We can go ahead and just take the link from here, run back over to our AutoDS dashboard, click on add product and single product, and then just paste the link there and then click on edit now. And it'll take us to the same section that I just showed you through the draft section. Once everything is ready and you're ready for your product to go live, all you need to do is click on save and import and it'll be ready to sell to your customers within seconds. Now that was the product importing, but another very crucial part of your dropshipping business that 
can be automated is going to be your order fulfillment. So whenever orders come through, they're going to go through your orders tab over here where you're going to have all of the statuses as well. Not only that, but you have all of the information for all of your customers, their addresses, and even the price that you're selling your products for and a profit. So here you can see all of the different information that you need to keep track of all of your orders. And again, AutoDS is going to be the one that automates this process. So that way you don't even have to go to your supplier's website and place the order. AutoDS will do that for you using the fulfilled by AutoDS feature. Now, even though you have access through AutoDS to the handpicked product section, it's still very important to understand product research and know what products are trending. So that way you can make sure that you import these products or you look for these products when you're supposed to right before the spike hits or right before they start trending. Now, here's a few things to take into consideration for when you are doing your product research. For one, always look for products that are problem solvers. Make sure that your products can solve some sort of problem in your customer's day to day. If not that, make sure they have some sort of wow factor that really stands out to your customers. Another thing that you need to look out for is a healthy profit margin. So typically we want to make sure that what we can sell our products for is going to be two to two and a half times what we purchased it for. So if we source our products for $10, we want to make sure that we can sell it at least between 20 to 25 dollars that way we can take into consideration the product cost and any fees associated and last but not least this isn't necessary but see if you can find products that have an evergreen appeal products that don't go out of style while trending products can make us money pretty quickly evergreen products will make us money throughout the long term so we're going to make a little bit less money on the spot but we're going to make it throughout a longer period of time than with trending products where you have the potential to make a lot of money in a shorter period of time now when you're structuring your shopify store there's a few things that you should really keep in mind especially if you're changing up the different images and making it your own now one of those things that you really need to take into consideration is the loading speed of your store. Now, this isn't something that a lot of people typically think about, but when you go onto a website and it takes more than one or two seconds to load, what do you typically do? You click off, right? It's something that you kind of just do subconsciously. And that's something that everyone does. So one of the best ways that you can do this is simply by lowering the quality of the images that you use. Don't lower it to the extent where when the image loads, it's gonna be all blurry or pixelated, but you can lower it enough so that way it's still clear, but it's not too heavy on the website and not slowing it down when it starts to load. Another thing that's really good to keep in mind is when it comes to the text on your product page or on your website, keep it to a minimum. Most of the times when somebody jumps onto your website, they don't want to do too much reading. So just give them enough information about your product. So that way they know what it is, how it works and whether or not it could benefit them. If you start overbearing them with too much text, too much features and everything all cluttered up into just one big paragraph, chances are people are not going to be reading that and they're just going to click off. Now, the next thing that's very important as well is change your currency to the currency that your country is using. So a lot of the times Shopify is going to default it to USD or the US dollar. But if you're drop shipping and let's say the UK, the UK uses the pound. They don't use dollars. So if you have dollar amounts in your store, they're not going to know how much that's going to be in terms of what they use, which is going to be pounds. So doing this is pretty easy. All you have to do is look up currency, go to store defaults. And over here where you see the currency display, just go ahead and change store currency. And you can change it from here to whatever you need. Now, the next thing that you're going to need to understand for Shopify is going to be your finances. If you don't set up your bank account or any of your finances, you're not going to get paid simply because Shopify is not going to let you make any sales. Now, doing this is very easy. All you have to do is activate Shopify payments. And for this, just on the search bar, just look up Shopify payment settings. And from here, just go ahead and complete the account setup. Then you can do the same thing for PayPal. So that way you can start accepting payments through PayPal as well. Now, besides that, you also need to set up your shipping zones and your shipping regions. Typically these are set up, but it's really good for you to look through them to make sure that everything's correct. So for this, what you're going to do is just look up shipping and you're going to look up Shopify shipping. Now from here, you're going to check this out right here, the general all products section where it says general shipping rates, click on that. And then here you're going to see all of the products that are currently under your general profile, which is typically what I keep everything at and your shipping zones. So where are you shipping to? In this case, I have all of the US and international. Sometimes you don't want to ship international, so you can go ahead and delete this. And then if you only want to offer, let's say, free shipping and and maybe the standard shipping, you can go ahead and delete the other rates as well like that. But this is something that's very important and you need to make sure that this is set up properly, because if not, whenever somebody goes to check out in your store, they're going to get a message that says that the store cannot ship to that address. So make sure that you have this set up. Make sure that you have your shipping profile set up. And last but not least, you need to market your store. You need to market your Shopify store. Otherwise, 
nobody's gonna know that it's there. So how do you do this? Well, the easiest and most cost-effective way is gonna be through organic content marketing. Organic content marketing means TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube, making content around your store or around the products that you have. One of the easiest strategies to follow is gonna be the problem and solution strategy, where you come up with a problem and then you offer your products as a solution. These types of videos, this type of content is always trending and it always has good impressions simply because a lot of people are looking for the solution to their problems, which if your product can solve anybody's problem, then you most likely have a winner on your hands. Besides that, sticking to content marketing, you can start a blog. So content doesn't have to just be videos. It can also be blogs or written form of content. Now you can follow the same strategy here. You write about a problem and you offer your product as a solution. Facebook and TikTok ads are also gonna be huge parts of your marketing simply because this is gonna be the easiest way to get in front of a big audience of people. Besides that, you also have the option for Google ads. And last but not least, one of the most effective ways, period, that a lot of people kind of disregard most of the times is email marketing. Email marketing is extremely effective and it's actually considered one of the most effective ways to market your products. Now, I understand that at first it might be hard because you're not gonna have any emails to email to, but an easy way to start collecting emails is by offering a discount in exchange for those emails. So I'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of websites. You jump onto the homepage or the product page and you get prompted with a pop-up. Insert your email here for 10% off, 20% off, whatever it may be, and sign up for our newsletter. That right there is how you're gonna be collecting emails, by offering a discount in exchange for somebody's email. You need to offer an incentive. Now, the good thing about this is that this is actually very easy to set up with any app through the Shopify App Store. Shopify App Store has tons of different apps that you can use for bundle ordering, email marketing, and pretty much anything else that you need. And that's pretty much everything that you need to know about Shopify and dropshipping and how they work together. Huge thank you to Aaron for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of today's video. If you want a little bit more information on anything that I covered today, then make sure you check out the description down below because there's gonna be a link there to a relevant article. Huge thank you to Aaron for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS. Catch you all next time.